you know, how long of a series, how big of a body of work, you know, do I need to create a proposal for an exhibition, for a gallery, for an institution, for a museum, and so on. Um, and there's not a magic number, right? Let's say, okay, if it's less than six, then you're out. If it's more than six, you're in. You know, it's never about the number. It's about more about the concept, the idea of your body of work that you're developing. You don't have to wait until every single piece in that body of work is finished to propose a show, uh, to propose uh, an exhibition, to create that proposal. Um, you can even be working on it as you start sending it out. So what I would rec oh, usually recommend, and based on also talking to many other curators, and also I've been um, part of exhibition committees for art centers and, and other galleries, and also as a curator myself of my own gallery, and also at the Art Center, the Joby Art Center in Chicago, and other places that I curate shows. You know, when I look at a proposal, I usually don't count the artworks. I, I'm looking at what's the idea, you know, do I see enough um, information, enough images to to support the idea behind the show? And I think in order to do that, you need at least probably at, at least eight, you know, eight to ten good works, good images that give me an idea. If I see a good proposal, for example, that's a great idea, but only has three artworks, it's like, it doesn't give me enough. Like, I wonder how the others will look like, right? Uh, for me to make a decision or for me to get interest. I need to see, you know, at least six to eight that I would say, well, you know, and now I get in a grasp of what this show is about, what the concept, what the vision that you have for the show. So I would suggest, you know, for a strong proposal about eight good pieces, eight to 10, also, you don't want to send too many. You don't want to send 20 images because that becomes overwhelming. It's too much to look at, you know, um, but rather pick your best uh, eight and build your proposal around that. And remember, more than the number, it's about the concept, the idea, how well developed is, how well thought out is, uh, contextually, how, how is it relevant to the world today? Very important too and um, you know really work with your vision and i suggest that before you send your proposal show it to other people you know so that others can also look at it review it give you some feedback which is something that i do for our members inside our next level program so if you are in the next level you know you can send it to me i'll review it i'll take a look at it i'll give you some feedback say hey you know maybe you're missing out on this or maybe you should do that or why not and actually we have a whole course that's called seven steps to creating a killer exhibition proposal, which is one of my most uh, popular courses that I have on how to create an amazing exhibition proposal for your art. It's a course that artists have taken, have gotten museum shows, uh, great opportunities, residency programs, and so on, because it teaches you all the seven steps that you need to get a really amazing proposal that stands out, right? A proposal that is rich with content, rich with ideas, are rich with what you can offer. I always say that a good proposal is not always all about you. You might think that the proposal is all about me. No, the proposal, a good proposal is always about two, right? You and the person or the institution or the gallery that you are proposing it to. So a lot of times when, I, when artists write a proposal, they're thinking about what I want to get, what am I gonna get from this? You gotta also think about what are they gonna get from it, right? What is, what is uh, in, in it for them? How does it align to their mission, to their vision, to what they're all about, to their programming, so that you get the best chances to, you know, to get a great, a great uh, result. So, and if you are working on a body of work and you would like to, uh, for me to sit down with you and go over the proposal and talk about it, review and so on, it's a number of ways you can do it. You can either join my program inside our next level, or you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, which also you can do it from my profile link. We'll sit down. For one hour, we'll review it, we'll go over it, we'll look at your images, your statement, your everything, you know, from start to finish, give you recommendations so that you can do it really, really well before you start sending it out to galleries. Because when you get a no, that's gonna be a no for, for a while. You cannot say, oh, here's a revised proposal because you didn't accept the first one. Let me, f I fix a few things here. No, you know, when they say no, it's like, it's a no, right? That idea is, is not, it's a no-go for them. So, you know, you gotta make sure that it is a good proposal from the start. But wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You will find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.